Right, hello everyone. So we are at a stage in the processing of the data for one of our experiments that we're going to need to perform some integration using just discrete data points. And at this point, I normally have to go through a refresher on what, how we actually perform numerical integration and what the process is. Often when we're doing things in engineering, we want to know what an integral is and we don't have a continuous function we may have a few discrete data points and we need to find a way to add them up basically that's what that's what integration is it's fancy adding up so we often rely on trapezoidal integration schemes just because they're really easy um, and, sim and because they are a way to very quickly and numerically integrate data so I'm going to go through a known example and we'll test that we can get integration to work because this shows you guys how you can how you should really be testing things out. I had a phone call with a student at the weekend, um, a former student of mine who was looking how to filter some data, and he just dove straight in, straight in and tried to design his first filter to filter his, his experimental data. Now, a better approach would be to come up with a known input and look for a known output. And that's what we're going to go through here. So we want to check that we understand how trapezoidal integration works by integrating something we know. So we will, for example, integrate sine function. So let's say that I have a function, f of x, and it's going to be, in my case, just sine of x. And let's say this is my function and I've got a number of values. So I would have this here. I'd have a number of x values, zero, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and I would then have a set of f of x values. Obviously the first one's going to be zero, and then I'd have the increasing values in here. You could populate these if you wanted to, and we'll do this using Python in a moment. So let's say I want to know the integral of my function from zero to pi. Well, we should know that's just going to be two. Just go through the calculus yourself. You'll see that we get a an integral of two for this. So if we can provide a trapezoidal integration scheme that enables us to work out the area under the sine curve from zero to pi and we get the answer of two, then we know we've done things correctly. Let's just remind ourselves, because I know you've probably covered this in previous courses, what trapezoidal integration is. So let's say this is my poorly drawn sine function going from zero to two pi. And I want to know what the integral is of my sine function from zero to pi. And what I'm actually trying to do then is look at the area underneath this curve, okay? Because that's what integration is. So that here will be the integral from zero to pi sine x dx. So we're trying to work out this area here. And let's say, for example, we have a number of values of our function. What trapezoidal integration is doing is splitting the area under here into trapezoids and then we can look at the area of this one because that's then just a simple shape this is then we have height one height two dx and the area underneath here is going to be dx multiplied by a half h1 plus h2 Okay, so this is how trapezoidal integration works. Fortunately, we don't need to actually apply this numerical scheme ourselves outside of a class in which you maybe learn how to do this because we're going to use the inbuilt traps function in NumPy and there's something very similar available in MATLAB as well if you're still using MATLAB. So let's just switch over to a Jupyter window. Open up my Jupyter notebook and I'm going to import a few things. I'm going to import... NumPy as NP, as we always do. I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, because we always import that. And then I'm going to just change the style so it works on this light on light on dark again. plt.style.use, and I've got to remember the correct syntax or the correct phrase here. I think it's dark background. Here we go. If that works, yep, the code is run. Doesn't seem to have fallen over. So we're going to create our function f of x, which is just sine of x, and we now need to make some x vector that is then going to go from zero to pi. And we'll say it has a number of points, which we'll call n. So 
we'll start out with 100 points. So our x is going to be equal to mp.lin space. We're going from 0 to pi, um, and then we're going to have n points there. Okay, and then my, so that's giving me my x, and if I, I could print this out if I wanted to. There we go, I've got a vector of points from 0 to pi. In fact, let's just take it down to, to 5 points, because that just means it prints out in one line. We'll change the number later. And they're going to say my f of x is np dot sine of x. I could print that as well if I wanted, just to show you guys. Here we go. So we've now got something that goes from zero, which is what we know it should be, it goes to very close to zero at pi. This, this should be zero, but it's because of floating point precision problems with using computers. And in fact, it's not because of that. It's because it doesn't go all the way to pi here. That's that's why, because lin space doesn't go to the very end point. What does it? Let's have a look. Oh no, it's not. A lin space does go to the endpoint, and it's a range that doesn't. Um, this will just be floating point precision here, so that's fine. So that number is effectively zero. But we've got these two things now we've got x and we've got f of x. Let's just print them and check that we understand that we've got the right thing here. So we'll do plt.plots x f of x. There we go. So we've got our plot, we've got five points. Doesn't really look like a nice sine curve, but what we now can determine is we want to look at the area underneath here. We don't need to know how to implement a trapezoidal scheme ourselves because we can just use the traps function, which is available within, within NumPy. So let's just have a look and remind ourselves how to use this. I'll do help mp.traps. Okay. It is integrate along the given axis using the composite trapezoidal rule. Okay, so the things that we've got to put in here, we put in y, and that's going to be the function value. So that's our f of x, and you can optionally put in your x values. And we will be putting in the x values. If you don't put them in, it's going to assume that they are evenly spaced, probably 0 to 1, I think, but we're not actually going to use those. So we're going to, we're going to always supply our f of x as the y, and then the x, which is the, the location at which we know those ordinates. Let me just move this down on here. So this would be my this would be my y, this column here. And then this column here is my x's. So we're going to put those in. Just get rid of that. There we go. Calculate the numerical integral. We'll say that the total is equal to mp dot traps. I have to answer this phone call. Excuse me. Hello, Harry Smith speaking. Right. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So we're going to do this trapezoidal integration. So we need to supply the first thing we're going to put in is the value of the function f of x, and we're going to supply x as well. And then we're going to print out what the total is. So we'll do print. We use an f string again. The okay. I didn't put a space in here, that's why. The numerical integral of sine x from 0 to pi is 1.8961. Now, it's not that close to 2 because we've only got 5 points in here. Okay, let's just increase the number of points that we had or the number of data points that we would have been integrating over. Take it up to 10. There we go, we're getting closer to 2. Let's take it up to 100. Yeah, we are now... So very close, what's that? That's closer than 0 0.01. Okay, so this is just a quick refresher on how to do numerical integration. I tried to keep this video under 10 minutes because I know people don't want to watch long things. Um, that's how we use the traps function in 
NumPy, and it's very similar how we do it in MATLAB as well. Okay, so that's just a reminder of how we do numerical integration. Take care, guys. See you later.